obviously, you know, people say study committees are just where bills go to die, but you know, there would seem to be a commitment to discuss this issue. Do you still see that happening? I fall? do, and, and then we will obviously wait till after the November elections, and, and uh, we have our new General Assembly uh, reorganization, and then we will put together a study committee to look at what is best Tennessee public policy. Do you think, why have this after election? Obviously lawmakers are busy, but I mean, isn't this an issue that voters would want to know exactly where their legislators stand on this and where the legislature is going? Well, we have members that are now very concerned with their November elections and they ought to be all in their districts campaigning and listening to what the public says. This is the time to gather information. Um, you know, does this come up on the, camp on the campaign trail? And if it does, what does the public really want to see us accomplish in this area? And I think this is a good time for our legislators to survey their districts, find things out, be all out on the street, knocking on doors. If this issue comes up, what do people want to see? And then that gives us a better opportunity when the elections have taken place to shape some good public policy. And at this point, do you have any uh, directions or ideas on how to kind of meet in the middle between these business interests and the gun interests to try to find something everyone can agree on? Well, I, you know, if we learned anything from last session, we learned that, you know, everyone needs to sit down at the table and work together. And no one can bully. Neither side can, you know, push down their, their agenda at the cost of other agendas and, and other people's interests. So we're going to work together uh, to come up with something I believe that will satisfy the gun owners of our state. Um, and our gun carrying permit owners and as well as our business community. We don't want to jeopardize jobs. Um, we also don't want to in any way infringe on someone's Second Amendment rights. So we're going to find that balance. That's what legislature does all the time and we'll do it in this issue. What kind of mandate do you think you guys have to come to a solution this session if it turns out to be another messy situation where it's hard to find mm -hmm. that middle ground? What kind of mandate do you feel like you have to do something in 13? Yeah, I, I don't feel that mandate. Um, I, I think it's something that I've committed to the members that we will look at and we will examine. We either can come to the table and work something out that, that satisfies both interests or we can't. And if we can't, we'll be back to where we were last session. But I have great hopes that we will be able to work something out.